It's those lovable Basque terrorists, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Welcome back to x -Play. It's now super absorbent. As our planet faces imminent destruction from the alien forces above, we're reminded that life is an endless cycle of desire and disappointment. There is no God. All of your suffering is in vain. You can seek solace in the community of others, but all you will find is suffering and annoyance. Help is other people. You don't have to tell me that. I thought we were conveying a bleak existentialist message, not insulting each other. I'm comfortable with doing both. From this cycle of longing and anguish, there is no exit. Suicide isn't an option, because sure, you get to end the suffering that is life, but then everyone else will think you're some stupid whining on the inside goth. The only real answer to the existentialist dilemma is time-wasting handheld gaming. And here's our review of Exit for the PSP. When a hero comes along with the strength to carry on, you can cast your fears aside and know you will survive. That's what Exit is all about. A game that allows you to find the hero inside each and every one of you. Let's go. See, this main character, he's smooth. Like a Wild Bill Hickok smooth. And he stops at nothing. There's no danger too dangerous to save these poor, helpless, cranky, dreadful, lazy, you're joking, right? and hardly innocent victim. It's too cold. The world hasn't heard whining like this since Courtney Cox's wedding night. I just want to go home. Okay. Sadly, our hero here lives in a world post 9-11 where fires just randomly appear. And earthquakes and avalanches happen with complete normalcy. It's all just another day in the life of our hero. He's unflappable, he's brave, he's the cock of the walk. Move it. Got it. And it won't be easy to save these cockamamie victims, as these puzzles aren't easy, nor should they be. I really need a shower. It takes brain power, quick thinking, and the ability to ignore the needy victims. I'm gonna freeze. Over here. Now you'd think these victims would be pretty helpless, and they usually are. But with a bit of prodding, you can get them to help you out. Move it. Okay. Not much help, but just enough to get by. <clears throat> there seems to be a lack of urgency here, as everybody moves slower than Bangkok cockroaches. You'd think a time limit would hurry things up, but alas, it does not. Stay here. You may hurt your coccyx a few times trying to get your jump on, but a hero should never complain. Even when he sees something, shock it. <laughs> Wow, he moves like that Joe Cocker guy. The only time this hero should complain is when he accidentally or intentionally lets a victim die. I'm a hero. There's nothing worse than a cocky superhero. No hard feeling. Man, that elevator cold cocked that guy. Exit's got an interesting comic booky style to it. If you can look past the controls of the game, and if you can look past the constant, constant, constant annoying victims, you may find yourself a fun game. Maybe. We give Exit three broken ankles out of five. Mr. Escape, the protagonist of Exit, should be a role model to deadbeat dads everywhere. Adam, I'm getting an update on the cock insurgents. Let's go to correspondent Sledge Ryder with an update on the alien invasion in progress in San Francisco. Sledge? Thank you, Adam and Morgan. Several cock have fallen thanks to the heroic efforts of our military. They push back against the cock's initial thrust, forcing the cock to pull out and thrust no more. After the tide turned, the cock went into disarray, even attacking one another, in what can only be described as the biggest cockfight of all time. So, the danger, it's over. For now, yes. In the meantime, it seems the cock are primarily lean muscle tissue, meaning they provide valuable food source during these trying wartime years. You're saying the cock is edible? Have you tried it? I have. What's it taste like? It tastes like It tastes like big, hard <laughs> And I haven't had that since my college days. Well, I guess humanity lives another day, although I'm left to question whether that's a good thing or not. From San Francisco, Sledge Rider, signing off. An international tragedy averted. This is a proud moment for America. Also slightly disgusting.